Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Bellis outside the elementary art room. When you see this large watercolor tray, you'll know you're in the right place. And I'll probably look like this with my Vincent Van Gogh mask on. But normally, I look like this and I'll be smiling at you. So come on into the art room. And we'll stop off here. The first thing is our uh, good behavior chart. And the kids that have been in my class before know that we earn crayons from the tray for good behavior, coming in quietly, uh, working well during class, cleaning up uh, easily. And so we can get crayons in our boxes. When you fill your box, the class earns a reward. So that's our incentive for making good choices in the art room. Speaking of the art room, if you look around a little bit, we have lots of space. So we will be spaced out in the art room. When you come to class, you'll be bringing um, a divider with you that you can see through, and I can see you, but it'll help keep the germs away. So we'll use those in the art room. And we'll also be using my sinks to wash hands. So we'll be washing hands when you uh, leave art class to make sure that all the germs go in the trash can with the paper towel. And of course we do a lot of painting. So we have our drying racks over on this side of the room and um, all the painting supplies here. So those will be some fun things that we'll be doing this year. So let's head up this way and look at some supplies. Okay. So this year in art, since we can't share all of the wonderful art supplies that we have normally, you'll be bringing some of your own items to art. And those things are going to be items that you have in your school supplies from your classroom, like colored pencils, markers, glue sticks, scissors, crayons, all those things will need to come with you to art. And in order to make that super easy, I'm going to be giving you an art bag when we start school. Um, when the first day that I see you for art and we'll be putting all those supplies in here um, So you'll bring that art bag with you each time you come to art. So we have all the things we need Some of the things that I have that you'll want are Extras that I am going to be putting in the art kit for you and one of those is oil pastels because we use those a lot for projects and everyone will have their uh, very own brand new watercolor brush and uh, watercolor tray so we can do some painting all right, and this year we're going to be adding a sketchbook to that list. So it's a, going to be a homemade sketchbook that we can practice some drawing in and some paper. Now the paper, we're just going to hang on to this in the, in the bag. Uh, just in case we have to do um, at home learning again, we'll have all these art supplies that you'll be taking home with you so we can still make some great art projects, even if I don't see you in the art class. All right, so one more thing up here. Um, just in case you need a remi reminder about my name or how to spell it. That's Mrs. Bellis. Uh, for parents, if you need to reach me, uh, my school email is Bellis C, which is my first name is Carol. So Bellis C at muschools.com. That's the best way to reach me. If you need to ask a question or schedule a meeting. Um, a few of the technology items that I use in the art room. One of those is Art Sonia, and I've been using that for about six years. Uh, and that helps the kids um, keep track of their artwork on a digital portfolio. So I mostly upload the artwork to this uh, website for them, but I would encourage parents to go to artsonia.com and look at their kids' artwork if they haven't yet. And if you have any questions about that, um, you can again email me there and I'll answer that for you. This year, starting out, um, specials teachers and classroom teachers will be using Seesaw to do a lot of our communicating with the kids and families, um, and also Microsoft Teams again, which we've been using for a while now. So those are mostly things that we'll need if we have to go to um, at-home learning again. Okay, so that's my story, Mrs. Bellis, and I can't wait to see you when school starts.